Hello and welcome. Uh, Charlton away, Duff second spin on to uh, second month on trot for manager at month. Players are injured. Transfer target is happening. Uh, Andy, welcome to Tykes TV. Uh, Hello. Uh, what, <laughs> what's your thoughts on this, mate? I mean, we'll, we'll go back to, briefly to Derby game because uh, and yeah, yeah to got your thoughts about that. We'll we'll go into the rest of the week. What's happened for week? But yeah, your thoughts yeah. on uh, your derby game? I think it's been well documented. But have you taken it, mate? Um, yeah, last three nil, didn't we? Um, got it. <laughs> it was it was crap, was it? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know how to start. It it, it was just rubbish. Um, yeah. First ten minutes looked all right. Um, after that, very very flat. Um, no, uh, let's put it to bed. Um, it to I don't bed. really want to go go over it. It it, it was just poor. Uh, I, I was bored watching it, if yeah. I'm honest. Um, I, 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 it was just like watching. Well, I personally thought it was just like watching like a preseason. Uh, how we approached it. Yeah. Um, no, it was terrible. Um, I, I hope that type of forms behind us now because if we play like that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Different you know, team. I think we might be in for a rude awakening to be honest, right? Yeah, we'll move on. I mean, Duff more or less said, you know, uh, came out with and said, you know, we won't be a second ball, disappointing, felt for fans. Yeah. Um, and like I said, we'll move on from that. It's been, I think, a lot yeah. of fans and that have all had enough in it. So, going into the week, I mean, before we get to the game and stuff like that, uh, Joe Ackroyd's gone back out on loan again. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit surprised at that. I thought. He came back, you know, guy he got rave reviews at Geisley and he come back to Barnsley Fold and I yeah. half expecting to ever feature a bit, but he's gone back out on loan again. What's your take on that? Would you would you like to see a bit of game time at Barnsley or do you think it were a, another loan were better for him? Yeah. I, I think I think overall I think it's probably uh, best for lad. I mean he's been on bench any bit, he's not even been game on. Um mm. so whether that makes me think that Duff doesn't either rate him or he just don't think he's ready. Mm. Um, it's, it's one or two. Might mm. be a bit of both, uh, to be honest. But no, I'm glad he's gone out on loan because, um, well, I've seen it before down there. Um, some young players, that you know, they're quite happy not to go out on loan, just to stick yeah. it out, um, yeah. you know, just for like an easy ride. Um, it'll do him a world of good. Um, and... Uh, like I said before, I think a few others need to go out on loan. Mm. Um, it, it does nobody no harm. Um, yeah, and I think he'll be all right there at Buxton. Yeah. Um, honestly, do. Uh, it'll tough him up as well, uh, which in this league, that's what you need. Mm. Um, as well as, you know, you can have all skill at the world, but, uh, well, we've seen it, haven't we? All uh, a bit streetwise. and... Mm. Yeah, yeah, old dark arts of football in League One. Mm. Um, so yeah, it'll do him good. Okay. Um, and like I said, I, I hope, I hope a few others go out. That's providing, <laughs> obviously, if we get cover in, if we get players yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it, I'm pleased for the lad. I think it'll uh, do me world a good that. Yeah, we'll get onto that. Like lead onto it. I think, I think Duff will be more latter. Where I think he rates him, but. I think getting more minutes, like you said, Veer, Andy, in in first team environment experience, you can do so much under twenty three set up. But I think going out to such as guys like Aidan Marshman, type to Scunny, didn't it? Yeah, you, you, yeah, you, you're getting more game time. You're getting, like I said, you're learning trading like uh, lower leagues, but it's standing in good stead for when you're yeah. progressing through. Um, again, we had, we got Max Waters, uh, all being well, they should be available. Whether it be off at bench or on, you know, um, in game, in squad. Yeah. Bit about that we Max Waters saying about, you know, is not match fit. And I know there's been a lot made on social media. It's about right for Barnsley. But one thing we said this off air is that we've got him early at Windy, so there's time for him to come through it. And he's been yeah. veered and veered about recently. So it's not as if he doesn't know where it net is. He's just gaining match to, uh, up to match sharpness. And I think yeah. once he's, once that's for you, a couple of games, and games coming up thick and fast, he'll not be far off it, mate, will he? Well, I'm hoping not. Um, mm. I, I will, well, to say very 
uh, disappointed to hear that it won't quite match you up. Um, yeah, I was very disappointed in that. A very understated um, term. Uh, yeah, very un- uh, very disappointed. There's only us that can sign players though, who's not quite ready. Um, it's not what we want. We, we, you know, we wanted him to fit in straight away. Um, but yeah, let's hope he can get up to speed straight away and help that forward line. Um, yeah. I think it'll probably be him and Cole unless we get... Uh, you know, um, another strike. I personally think we need another striker in anyway, just as mm. cover. Um, because if he gets injured or somebody else does, we're back to square one. Mm. Um, but yeah, he, he does need to get up to speed. And I'm hoping he's up bench. Uh, to, I don't think he'll start. I mm. think if he is at squad, he'll be up bench. Yeah. Good, good shout. I mean, just, and again, it's all been documented and it's well known that squad depth, another one. Uh, Thoughts go with Tom Edwards because yeah. it looks like he's going to be out for our, according to what's been said about two or three months. It were a, a knee twinge yeah. and up at Giants up. So unfortunate for that because I thought he were playing well at back before, you know, we, mm-hmm. we uh, Mads and, and Cundy. So all being well, it's a, I said speed recovery, but a, a recovery that goes well with no complications and getting back to, you know, uh, football. And yeah. for me, a good pro and what he's done uh, for Bounds up to the minute. Good player. Um, he's a good player. Good player. And what we, I think, what we lacked and needed, kind of thing at time. One, one thing for me as well is that we've got uh, on about transfers. Just, just touch it up on briefly there. Is that now nah, it's been linked that you know Jordan Williams with Preston and how much meat on bone is this, yeah. uh, Andy? And again, it kind of goes back and highlights again certain areas that we've been saying that we need. A right wing back for backup. Now, mm. if Jordan Williams does, I'm not saying he will, but if Jordan Williams does go, if if we're coming with some cash, not only do we need backup, we'll need a, a first choice and a backup for that area. So there's a lot yeah. of there's a lot of thoughts to be gone into this January transfer window to either keep us on track or it possibly derail us. Uh, Andy, I know it's going to go one or other. There's going to be no in between, is there? Because mm. there's. Um... Players like Anderson as well. Um, mm. Yeah, um, it just came out of nowhere that about Williams. Um, I saw that other night. Um, yeah, um, a strange one. Um, I mean, Williams has done all right, um, you know, so far. Um, I always think he's a bit injury prone. Uh, yeah, it's a shame. I just that. wish we could keep him away from injuries because um, he, do, he has yeah. got pace about him, hasn't he? And he does look a threat. He will yeah. up well yeah. the kitchen, yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, if he does go, like you said, we need players in. I just thought that we don't try. I mean, they played Benson at, at back uh, before, weren't they? Uh, yeah. I just thought we're not going to go down that route where we're just trying to convert players. Um, and go on, what's that? Uh, on the Mac as well. Is, is he injured or? He's, he's been injured. So, he but, uh, he's been back in training. Uh, I saw. Uh, clips and stuff like that, but he's back on training. As is Luke yeah. Thomas, his feet on grass and his, his uh, uh, lobbying good. well is not too far off. But again, options there, yeah. but it's options like you said there, Andy. Options in right areas where we're lacking at the minute. Yeah, we, we, we just can't keep going about trying to put players in different positions, can we? Um, no, I don't like that. Yeah, it's going to be a big... January of this hot club, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's not just going to tell um, Duff where the club is, but also us fans as well, um, you know, where they want to be at the end of the season. Um, mm. I mean, we're sixth at minute. Uh, I think that's a brilliant achievement. And if we don't try and build upon that, then, you know, it, it that, that says a lot that it, it's a big, mm. it's a big, big January of this hot club. Mm. And for owners, um, and I'm hoping that they do do what's right and back Duff um, yeah. because they have got a really good manager there, and yeah. that, that's another worry, isn't it? Um, you know, mm. about Duff. Um, is he going to get fed up with it? We don't know. It's only for some books, but uh, we'll see it end of January. You know, there's still time and to get players, and you know, we need to give him a chance. But I, I, it just seems a little bit like deja vu at minute. Mm. Uh, fetching players in, leaving it to the last minute. 
lead into the last minute. I mean, we'll, we'll come on to a uh, you know, Charlton game right now because it, it kind of leads into yeah. what we're about it. We, there's still time in January for some big fixtures coming up. And rightly so, that Duff's got manager month again for December before yeah. what, what he's achieved and his work wonders in, in squad and uh, getting best out of players. And like I said, yeah. Beer, I mean, big fixtures coming up, Andy. Uh, Charlton away, as we know. Then we've got Ackerton mm-hmm. Stanley at home. Exeter yeah. away. And then you, you're in February then now because obviously at FA Cup. But then you've got Oxford away, Portsmouth away, mm-hmm. Cambridge at home, Port Vale away. So again, there's some... And then when you get in February, they're going to be coming up midweek, week and midweek, weekend. So again, it's it's having that consistency and starting away at Charlton tomorrow. Another ground where I always find it a tricky ground. It's 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 one of the kind of grounds me where I think Charlton potentially should be a good championship side. To be fair, I mean it's a decent setup. Yeah, um, I like it. I like I like it a lot. Uh, Charlton uh, ground and that. Um, but how do you think they're going to approach this game against us tomorrow? Are they going to be up for it and taking on and taking on us? Well, yeah, you'd think so. I mean, I think they're slap bang in the middle of the table, them, aren't they? Um, mm-hmm. Charlton. Um, one of my tips for being up the uh, end of the season, well, Charlton, um, yeah. like you said, you know, they've, they've got basis of, you know, being a, a decent uh, championship club again. Um, yeah, I think they should be a bit higher, um, punching a little bit, you know, below the weight. Um, it's going to be, a, like we always say, nearly every week, it's going to be a tough game tomorrow. Um, right. Yeah, especially at their ground. Um, and like I said before, it, I think not one player needs to like play well, because at the minute there's been too many players having off days. What we need is a good team performance. Everybody needs to be on the on the game tomorrow. Um, we can't just rely on odd feel. Um, mm-hmm. Everybody needs to be on. The, it needs it needs to be a collective um, effort tomorrow uh, mm-hmm. to get to get out. It, it's going to be a tough one without a doubt. Good point, back mate. Uh, really good point because I know that Matty Wolf uh, got some stick and single dart uh, at yeah. Norwood and Cole, and again. For me, if if you have a bad game, yeah, you can construct criticism and not be nasty and vile and some hateful stuff. But again, it's like a, a good collective team performance, um, and that's what you want. You uh, yeah. like you said, but too many off days. Not, I don't think anybody could ever send any glory against uh, no. Derby going back to back. No, you can't accept odd one or two, but it can get addressed. But I think even when substitutes came on. It, it were too far gone. It, it didn't really have an impact to turn it round. So again, yeah. for me, like what he said, Via, yeah, a good team performance and a performance for travelling fans. What are going? What are going to be going down? Because it's going to be an, another long journey down, spending yeah. the hard earned money to come back. And I mean, it probably sound daft. This what I'm about to say is that even if we lost. But we've given it as all, and we've put an actual show in it and some. Then you kind of accept it. You kind of accept exactly. it. But if you exactly. if you go down with a wimp and there's no fate, there's no spirit, there's no. You're thinking, what's the point? You, you sat yeah. like derby game. You sat there pissing it down with rain, thinking, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. It's only derby. It's only an FA Cup, and I don't get it. I, it don't matter who you play. No. You still want that same commitment and stuff like that. And for me, like you said, via Charlton, I think. I think there are probably a couple of spots off. I'd, I'd read them in top ten. I'd read them in top ten yeah. somewhere. Probably, and um, again, it might it might hinge on how they do in January and all. But yeah. it's a ground via Charlton, which I think it's a nice place to go to. It's a tricky place to go to Charlton. Uh, yeah. Just looking at your own record, we've lost, lost, drawn, lost, won one. So the last two we've won. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. it's one of them kind of things where I'd be wanting to go down for a win, obviously. But yeah. it's one of them kind of games, I could see it being a draw, in, if you know what I mean. Um, my standout player, my key... I wouldn't say standout player, but say it all the time, not me. But I think, for me, I think player that will be key in this, I want to go Mads Anderson at back. I was going to say that. Mads Anderson at back. Yeah. He did I his 150 appearance. Um, well, 
I'll let you go over to you, Andy. I mean, for me, it's Mad Anderson, but I'll, I'll, you were going to say Mad as well. Yeah, I was going to say Anderson. Um, yeah, it's uh, you know, it's going to be like um, like I said before, like a team uh, performance to try and get uh, out uh, tomorrow. And um, yeah, Dante captain to try and uh, generate that bit of a buzz on pitch as well. Mm. Um, yeah, definitely need to keep it tight. Uh, also at back because um, I think uh, well when Kunde made that mistake as well uh, against Bolton I think that'll uh, you know his confidence might be a bit uh, knocked as well mm-hmm. so things like that I, I think it's uh, going to um, be playing on the mind as well you know the current form mm-hmm. um, but yeah uh, as I said um most important player tomorrow is going to be Anderson for us. Just to try and motivate him um, and put that, yeah, like a captain's performance in. Yeah, captain's performance, like you said, Via. Uh, I think Duff will have heard him in this week. Uh, he'll have got things sorted out and that. A captain's performance, and you'd like to see it through pitch. Uh, and like, like I said, Via, confidence is going to be down a bit. Uh, yeah. The reaction from players, which will. I think that's what Duffel wants as well. A reaction from players, yeah. from fans and that. Yeah. Um, I want to go school prediction for this one, Andy. Uh, what, what are you calling it on this one, mate? Um, it, it's a tough one to call this. Um, obviously, I want them to win every single game. Obviously, I do. But uh, I think we... Uh, we've been playing it last couple of games in uh, confidence. I think I'd take a 1-1 one, one now. Um, I, I think a point away at their place would be a good uh, a good point. Um, so, I'm yeah, I'll go for 1-1. One, one. I'm only laughing because that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just think it's <laughs> I just think it's one of them games. It's a tricky ground, Charlton. You never know. I mean, yeah. I think it could be one of them games we could turn up and we could win it 2-0. You yeah, know, Max Waters coming off at bench, you know, dream start. And but when you're living like, is that made all my heart saying that? You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. for me, if and, and fans are probably, you know, pe- uh, let, again, let us know your comments on on this. People said, no, oh, Neil, should be good at win. And it, it's always interesting me when I put polls out on uh, Twitter and uh, on YouTube, I'll say, Bounds, we know, and it's very rare you see a draw. Oh, it's very rare you see yeah. a, a yeah. way win when we play. And I get that. I want Bounds to win every game. I want us to be at top of the league, 100 points, top yeah. goal and everything. But, again, Charlton, I'm, I'd like to say, if you come away with a one note win, I'd be delirious. But yeah. Charlton runs predictable. They're always a danger. Uh, yeah. And, again, we know Raki Saki. Who, who we've been after and been linked with. So is it is a threat yeah. or not? He's still there. Yeah. You know, is Dean Alden well. still manager? Yeah. Yeah. He's it, it, still manager yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, if, if, uh, you've got to remember when Charlton come up to Oakwell, he was a, he was a yeah. threat. He, he, he yeah, was well, a yeah. threat that wing. Um, yeah. So, again, for me, I wish you were at Barnsley, I'll tell you now. I know we've been <laughs> linked with him, but whether it's loosely or not, I don't know. But I don't. I can't see Charlton learning good, but a dangerous no. player, a dangerous player. So for me, I'm going to go one-one. I think it's going to be yeah. a tight game. Yeah. Personally, would would I think a one-one at Charlton would be a disappointment? Not not really, not really. No. It's not. It's no disrespect. It's not a game that I'd be going to sit, which is like Acton Stanley or Mark, and thinking if you come away with a point, there, it's a good result. Yeah. If you know what I mean? I'm not being disrespectful yeah. there. I'm just thinking you should be going to them kind of grounds expecting to win. But you've also got to think of mm, potential upset, banana skin, you could go and you end up losing it. it. See, it's very rare I say this because I'd take a scrappy 1 0 win, me, yeah. even if you play like we did against Derby. But tomorrow, I want to see a reaction um, huh. against players, try and put like performances like that right. Um, no, we can do it. I know. Yeah, that, yeah. We, we've done it. That, that, you know, we got to sixth in league. Um, you know, just by chance, uh, we, we've got there because we've um, we've earned it so mm-hmm. far. Mm-hmm. Um, all we ask for is just to put performance in. That's all we can ask for. Yeah. Um, ever since I've been going to watch him, 
Um, that, that's all you can ask for. Um, it, it's like going back when, oh God, like in early eighties, <laughs> the mm-hmm. like Alan Clark side. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we used to play some bigger top teams, but we used to give them a game. They knew yeah. that it, they played against us because yeah. we used to get stuck in it and, and give it us all. Yeah. Um, and that's how I'm being brought up as a Barnsley fan. Um, yeah, I that. And that's what seems to be. I'm going to say lacking, but it's probably not because you know we we got like ex- a lot of experienced players like we probably had then, but um, it seems to be missing a little bit, um, and, and I think that's what's a little bit frustrating for me. As long as we can put a, a better performance in tomorrow, I think we'll be all right. Um, but yeah, that's all down to players at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, I, I agree with that. I remember them them times like you said, under Alan Clark and Mel yeah. Merchant. Yeah. Go, most fancy well, build team, but we also put a, an effort in and you took yeah. on and played them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I say, you give them a game. Yeah. They, they knew that they were in a game against us. Yeah. Uh, when we used to play like really big teams in, uh, well, Old League 2, you know, mm. when Villa used to come to it. Well, mm. yeah, they, they, they had amazing players, but. Good God, we used to competed. We, yeah, we used to match them and game a game, mm. um, and, and that's all we can ask for. Mm. And when we do that, um, I think our first battles won. Yeah, and fans will see that and appreciate that as well. Yeah, fans yeah, will appreciate that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, Andy's going one one. I'm going one one. Obviously, we want to bounce a win, but you know, in grand scheme of things, what's happened, uh, injuries and stuff like that. Uh, our squad is set up at minute. Uh, confidence looking for a reaction. Let us know your thoughts, Andy. In the red corner, as always, it's been a pleasure having you on, mate. Some good talks, some you. good debates. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. But uh, most importantly, let's have let's have your comments. Let's have a, uh, your thoughts on score, uh, your take on things, all transfer activities up to now. Uh, we'd like to see club go. Uh, going down to Charlton, have a safe journey of here and back. All being one, we can come back to South Yorkshire with three points and a win. Uh, and kickstart it again, and ho- hopefully get Michael Duff uh, another uh, an attractive manager at Mumford Ward before the season's over. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>